Hi, hello, Asharadil from Gateway School. This video is for class 9th, <coughs> chapter 2, the book Behind. The sound of music. This is a lengthy chapter. There are two parts in this chapter. Part 1 is about Evelyn. Evelyn is a lady. And the part 2 is about Bismillah which we will uh, see in the next video. In this video, uh, it is about Evelyn. By the way, both stories are connected because both of them have one idea which is music. Right? Evelyn is a very unique case. When she was 8 years old, her mother noticed that Evelyn could not hear and her loss of hair was gradual. She was completely deaf, kind of. It was extremely deteriorated. And teachers suggested her mother that please admit her in a special school. Special in the sense that schools for physically challenged children. <coughs> Evelyn was a music lover. Uh, because when at the age when she was learning piano that time the story happened that uh, her mother asked her to do something but she could not reply because she did not hear so love for music was there she saw one day she saw another girl playing xylophone she also wanted to play xylophone but since she was deaf and you know that listening is first a step for producing music. So she wanted to play xylophone. Other people around her did not encourage her. They said, how can you play xylophone? You are deaf. Nobody encouraged her, but she was determined. One person, Ron Forbes, he was, a, a, you know, he was an instrument player in an orchestra. He encouraged her. He said, no, you can do it. Uh, one day, uh, you know, once he said that, Evelyn, do not try to hear from your ear. Try to sense the sound from some other way. So gradually, he encouraged her. In fact, he did one activity with Evelyn. Uh, what he would do, he would play drum. Ron Fox, he would play drum. Uh, with a slightly louder beat and ask her to sense it above west and then he would play drum slowly and he would ask Evelyn to sense the drum's voice down the west so what does it mean? it means that when he would play drum on high pitch she would notice the wave, the sound the you know uh, the voice above the west and when the drum would be played at low pitch she would sense it below the west now this is magical this is miracle right? for people like us this is a miracle but whenever anybody would say evelyn that you are a special girl you have a magical capacity of sensing the sound she would say, no, I am not a special, I am workaholic, meaning I work a lot, I am determined, I never give up, things like that. Now Evelyn's story uh, continued, she became popular at very early stage, at the age of 17, she was invited to the Royal Academy in England and then after she won so many awards, countless awards and she could speak um, in multiple languages uh, when a news uh, uh, a journalist asked her that uh, how can you speak so flawlessly she said because i could hear when i was 11 at least till that age i could hear that's why i could speak but no that is not true why because she can speak japanese also she can speak french and all those languages she got exposure to after this age. So, what, what do you know? 
uh, I mean to say that she had some extraordinary qualities, but she always gave credit to her hard work, determination, commitment. Now moving on, uh, uh, she started two things simultaneously. She was a professional, you know, xylophone player, and she played with so many other instruments. By the way, yes, she brought. Uh, a percussionist at the front stage of orchestra. She also played drum and so many other instruments. Uh, then she also started doing some welfare. Like she uh, started, you know, uh, donating money for uh, physically challenged girls, like all deaf girls. She started donating something. She also started playing music for. Prisoners, जो जेल में कैदी है, उसके लिए ये म्यूजिक बजाने लगे, for free, not uh, getting any money for all these things. So she became philanthropist, right? Uh, so the story of uh, Evelyn is very inspiring, right? Uh, one day, one person says that uh, because God has taken ear from her, God has given her extraordinary qualities so this is the story of evelyn very touchy story very motivational uh, this is it evelyn the story of a deaf girl who becomes extremely popular musician she is deaf and at very young age she has left behind so many senior musician and all those musicians have hearing capacity. So she is such a remarkable girl. Okay, this is the end of the video.